Welcome back to the show. We have Saints left tackle Teron Armstead with us, the vettiest of the vets on offense <laughs> now. Uh, so what's it like to be, to be, I guess, basically the oldest guy on this offense in terms of service-wise with the Saints? Yeah, being, uh, being an old guy, uh, I mean, it's great. It's great. It's a blessing you know, to be around for so long and being around such a great organization for so long. Uh, it's been amazing. You know, when you get drafted by this organization, did you feel this moment was coming where you'd be around this long? I mean, I, could, I can't say that. <laughs> Honestly speaking, I, I had no idea. You know, I was trying to find my way, uh, do my job to the best of my ability, improve every day, you know, that daily progression. But uh, honestly, I, I can't say that I knew it would be. I'd be here right now. You know, in a lot of ways, you're the offensive voice, the offensive conscience. Yeah. You've been around this team the longest on offense, so you know what the success is like and what's expected. Uh, what's that role like for you? Because, you know, nine's not here anymore, obviously, but now yeah. you, you're the veteran guy. Yeah, no, I embrace it. I embrace it. It's been a role of mine for, for years now. Uh, so it's not it's not new to me. And we got a ton of great leaders on this team. Uh, even some of the guys that are stepping into roles now, it's Taysom and Jameis both, you know, really great leaders, vocal guys. Jameis probably more so than Taysom <laughs> as far as being vocal, but, uh, you know, it's not it's nothing new to me. Uh, I've been I've been in this role in this position for a few years now. You know, as a player, you came in quiet. When did you kind of quote unquote find your voice as as a leader on the team? Uh, I mean, I came in with great vets, great leaders, Zach Street, Jari Evans, Ben Grubbs, etc. You know, so uh, and I didn't have that those shoes to feel. I didn't have that area to to feel. And then when those guys, you know, went off, left, or or retired. Uh, you know, they, they groomed me and primed me for, to step into that role pretty much seamlessly. You know, now we look at this team and I would venture to say that the offensive line unit is probably collectively uh, the most impressive unit on this team. What are your thoughts on how you guys have grown as a unit? I think we got a great group, man. Great group. Uh, got a lot of work to do still and we're, we're doing it. You know, we're fine tuning everything. A lot of great depth. Uh, you know, it's a lot of teams are probably real comfortable with their starting five, but we got, you know, six, seven, eight, nine that, that can step in and play. And that's huge. That's huge going forward. Uh, we get a lot of great work in, pushing each other, competing against each other. Uh, I, I, I definitely feel like the offensive line is the strength of this team. You know, I don't know if you guys have an added responsibility, but how much pride do you guys take in, you know, potentially having that added responsibility of kind of being the anchor of this unit and, you know, until you can get the quarterback situation where those guys are comfortable playing yeah. you guys are kind of the anchor of the unit uh from a communication standpoint it is a little bit more of an added responsibility more so for eric than anything but we all try to overly communicate make sure we're all on the same page uh and that just helps the quarterbacks and everyone get get comfortable and and just go out and play fast you know eric did an interview with us he said you know humbly that he was the most athletic offensive lineman on this team now so Here's your chance, you know, is he the most athletic offensive lineman See, on this Eric team? Broke to me. <laughs> broke it down to me that he has to say that on camera because <laughs> he said it on social media. But deep down in his heart of hearts, he don't feel like he's more athletic than me or faster than me. So next time you see Eric or interview Eric, make him say it on camera. Okay, we got it right here, folks. Next yes. time we see Eric, we're gonna let him know. Make him be honest. Now, the music business, how's that going? Um, T Stead, yep. you know, I I, I almost wish that Terrell Suggs had not come up with T-Sizzle. But <laughs> T-Stead isn't bad. T-Stead is wonderful. So how, how's, how's the music career going? It's been going great. It's been going great. Uh, BOA alone has over a million streams, you know, collectively through through multiple platforms. Uh, it's been great, man. The response has been great. People keep asking for new music. I got some new music coming, too. I got some coming. I've been trying to make sure I roll it out the right way. but. Got some, got some good content on the way. Have you told him you actually got a, a first job before? I mean, another job you don't have time for, for that yeah. quite right now. Yeah, I, I'm sure, I'm sure people know, but I don't, I don't spend much time in, in, in music, uh, making music. I probably go in the studio once every couple months, once every few months. So when I'm in, I try to spend a day, but most of the time I'm doing a ton of other things. How much of a release is that for you? I love it. I love it. I enjoy it. Going in and just getting in the studio, just open up those creative spaces. Uh, getting my mind going, just embracing it, you know, having fun with it. You know, we'd be remiss if we didn't talk to you about your community service. Um, you're obviously deeply involved in community work in New Orleans and other places. Uh, just what led you to be that deeply involved, especially uh, when in terms of, you know, I know you said post-career, you want to you want to start a school. Yeah, schools, you know, multiple. I want to I want to start multiple schools, public schools and underserved communities. 
Uh, but it, it, it all came from just me seeing, growing, and recognizing the lack of resources and education in a lot of areas, how it kind of, kind of you know, put people at a disadvantage. So, uh, you know, the more I can open those doors and, and bring more opportunities is just, that's all I'm trying to do. All right, folks, that's Deron Armstead, T-Stead. I will not have him drop any bars for us right now because we won't no. put him to work extra after practice. <laughs> we'll be back in a moment.